Hi Shaggy fans, welcome to Tsume Shaggy Corner number 4. I am One Eye and today I wanna show you some Tsume in 7 moves. All of them are from the book Konsoku no Tsume Shogi, written by Tanigawa Koji. They are very interesting ones, they could be a little bit hard. I remember I had a lot of fun when serving them. So I think you will enjoy them too. This is the first problem. I think it's very funny because you have only three pounds on the board and some pieces in hand and you need to find a way how to make this lonely king here. So good luck. So this is the answer. First, you want to attract the king to this side because you have a strong pawn in here. So you drop the silver on Tutu. If he takes it, then your plan works because you can drop a rook here. If he runs here, then go to the head. Same with two one square. And if he runs to three three, it's go to the head here. He can also run to three two. But you can see it's very easy. So the only option left is 4 2. And here you use this fine rook drop on 3 2. If he takes it, it's the same as before with gold drop at the head. So well also if he runs to 5 1, it's easy. Gold drop at the head. So he runs to 4 3. And now you drop the gold on 4 4. If he takes the rook, it's the same. Again and again. So he takes the gold and you made him with rook promotion. Suma number two. You have a horse on the board looking next to the king and a rook blocked by opponent's bishop. How do you use two golds in your hand to make the king? Alright, so first move is a little tricky one. It's 2-1 gold. The two options that king side has is taking the gold and running to here because bishop is attacking here and of course he is attacking here. So let's see what if king runs. Horse can come into action thanks to the free found pawn. And he has to take the rook. As you can see, this gold is a very good one because it's protecting 3-1 square and you can make the king with 5-2 gold. But the second option, as I said, is king takes 2-1 and here you sacrifice the horse. If he takes it, then you promote the rook, he drops anything and you drop the bishop. Remember that this square is protected by the knight, so bishop is the only option. But he has another option by running to here. And now you finally sacrifice this god. He has to take it. And you promote the rook mate. Problem number three. I remember that I used to have problem with this one in past, but I'm sure you will make it. So here again, first move is quite unexpected. It's Gordrax sacrifice on 2-3. He has to take it. And then we sacrifice Rook on 1-4. If he takes it, it's a mate with discovered check. So he has to run. And we promote the rook on 1-1. One, one. If he runs, it's bishop promotion or pawn promotion. If he takes, it's double check and mate. Next one, you have two rocks in your hand. Where do you drop them? Mm 
the first move is group drop on one two. If you found it, you have a really nice shaggy sense. It's not easy to find. So easiest way to go from here is king up. It's mating one. Then king can also run down here or here. We can take out these cards. King takes rook drop on four two, and later way. It's a light with a gold drop. There are two options left now. King takes one to rook. In this position, we open the lens with the knight promotion. He has to take the knight, and we drop the rook on one four. So finally, he takes it with a pawn. In this position we drop the rook on 2-1, making he go back. He has to take it, and we um, jump with the knight unpromoted. It's important to go to here, not here, remember. So if he runs here, or here, it's a knight with lens promotion. Here we go, another very, very, very tricky problem from Tanigawa. The proper way to mate here is to use our old friend 2 1 gold. Let's see first what if he runs. King 1 2 is answered by gold 2 2, king 1 up, and silver drop 1 4. It's the same ending as if king ran to one free first because we draw the silver and the gold. And if he runs to two free, we can drop for example silver here. King runs to free two. Free free is just gold drop here, so free two and we can satisfy the the, the um, dragon. As we will see in future. And here it's same. So if he takes the gold, we drop the silver on free two to make the same shape as before. If he runs somewhere to the side, you can drop the gold. It's a very nice shape, remember it. So he takes dragon sacrifice. If he runs, it's very easy. King takes and it's the same shape as it was here but <laughs> a little bit on the left. In this position we have three heavy pieces on the board and only silvers in your hand. How do you use them? And the answer is first you sacrifice the rook. It's not important. Why do you need it? It stops the king very well. For example, if he runs to here, silver drop is made if he runs to the left, and if he runs to 1 5, first we need to check him with the horse, because this bishop is unpromoted, so he will probably somehow block it and we will open this route. But it's only useful for this. In this position he takes it. You can drop the silver here. If he runs it's made. So he runs up. And now the magic. We drop the second silver to here. He has to run up. And to use this horse. To cut his escaping route and boom. I have bad news for you, it was the last summer. If you liked it and you have maybe some questions about position, why my answer doesn't work or something like this, please comment or email me, I can answer with pleasure. And please tell me what would you like to 
see in my next video. Maybe you're bored with Tsume, maybe you wanna see some Hishi, or maybe comment on some very interesting professional game. Please tell me, I will do a video as you like. See you next time.